All right, welcome to the shop, Pineapple Press and Design. I'm Sven Olaf Nelson, printer and designer, and today I'm uh, doing a little bit of collating and uh, packaging of some cards. I started this uh, line of Amandine. Okay, I have to stop right here. Sorry, those two cats, those are the press kittens. That's Maddie and Jack. Maddie's in the pink color. Jack is usually biting and attacking on top. So this is what's going on in the background. Yes, I hear them. And they do this all the time. They're litter mates. They're brother and sister. That's gonna happen. So let's get on. Uh, cards for my fair site. Um, so if you're into wholesale, wholesale cards uh, in, you know, or you're a shop owner who's looking for some uh, one of a kind letterpress printed, um, you know, antique feel uh, cards. Look for my Amandine collection. I'm doing something a little different in that I'm trying to create um, some cards with some parameters around them. Um, and so these cards, this line of cards, I'm using a lot of antique ornaments uh, from like the uh, 1800s uh, and trying to use some antique typefaces along with it. So uh, doing this weird little um, stuff that you're not going to necessarily be able to mimic in, in a different fashion. Um, and just because it's part of my collection, it's stuff that I have, I wanted to be able to highlight it. And this gives me a chance to use them. I'm printing them all on cotton paper and I'm using, um, like neutral inks. So blacks, browns, golds, things that are going to be, uh, you know, neutral color palette. So I've got my cards. Um, last week I added my logo on the back, the uh, logo for the Amandine collection, which is exclusive to the fair, um, fair.com, my site there. Um, so I've got my envelopes that I need to package them with. Um, I also, uh, in my stuff, I add stickers, uh, just like, you know, big brand uh, stationary companies. I also have stickers so you can seal your envelopes. Um, the thing I like about these envelopes, these are uh, Crane Letra envelopes. Uh, they've got the A, uh, they've got the Euro flap on them, which I love. Um, and I did it in a gray. Um, and hopefully you can see that contrast. Uh, just to be a little different, uh, still keeping on my neutrals. And I wanted to set this line apart. So it's got this really cool vintagey feel. Um, and then of course I'll put them in bags and then seal them, uh, with a sticker that like that. Um, so that's what I'm doing. I just thought you'd like to peek in behind the, the shop curtains, if you will. Uh, and so hope you enjoyed this. All right, so I had to go grab the, uh, the Christmas cards for the collection. Uh, and you'll notice I actually printed them in green, a forest green, but it's still kind of a neutral. It's really dark. Um, so I wanted to still keep true to the facets of, you know, kind of the subdued colors, uh, natural tones. And uh, I was thinking about this as I was just folding those, um, the other cards, that this... I actually got the idea for this um, to put parameters on my printing style for a collection. Uh, watching uh, It Might Get Loud, which is a movie uh, uh, with Jack White, The Edge, and uh, Jimmy Page. Um, and they're talking about music. And Jack White actually was talking about the White Stripes and how they kind of came on to their scene with wearing you know red and white and black and keeping that to the core and also like 
letting that kind of also go into the music. And I thought, what a cool thing to do and to make a brand that is like that, which is why I've kind of put these parameters um, on these cards uh, because I want them to be special. I want them to be different than my other stuff. Um, so I've, the parameters loosely in my head. Um, obviously, I'm a one-man shop, so this isn't necessarily something that, you know, I can't change because, you know, it's just me. Um, or maybe the line dies. I don't know. Uh, but, you know, using my antique type, uh, using the handset type, I want to use individual letters, stuff that um, was cast at least 100 years ago. Um, and that's kind of a parameter for me. So if it, if it was cast before 1920, or if it's wood, if it's uh, manufactured before then, um, I might use it. Um, and I'm trying to keep things very old school. Uh, all of the ornaments that I'm using, I think are uh, mid to late 1800s. And I'm specifically trying to do that just to highlight them. Because I think it's really cool that they've been around this long. And why not showcase them and show them off? And uh, they're kind of a unique little thing. Like... And the other thing is I'm trying to use them in different ways that you wouldn't typically see. So like on my thank you cards, merci, um, I'm trying to use the ornaments uh, in a combination that you wouldn't have necessarily seen, but they still make sense. Um, and so actually this little lace edge right here, this is a piece uh, of uh, a die that I had uh, purchased, we'll just call it online somewhere. Um, and I just loved it and the detail of it. I just never thought of a way to use it. It's actually, uh, probably newer. It is a copper plate. So it's typically, it's quite possibly older, probably, I don't know. We won't go into age with that, but, uh, so I just wanted to be able to use it in a weird, funky way. Uh, and so that's, you know, on the side there and that's just kind of a weird way. Uh, and then the typeface, I spaced it out really nicely so you can, it's in a, I don't know, it's just kind of old school and yet not. I think that might be a good way to do it. Um, kind of like my logo, uh, the logo for the, the collection, the Amandine collection. Um, using those elements, uh, probably similar to what they would have been intended for, but definitely with a little bit of a twist to it. Um, and all of that type is actually also hand set, um, all antique type. Um, so it's just kind of a fun little thing. Uh, I couldn't go into a computer and use these typefaces cause they just don't exist digitally. Um, so I think that's kind of fun. Um, so that was kind of the inspiration, uh, was the Jack White, uh, talking about, you know, putting parameters on. So mine are neutral, uh, natural type colors, uh, muted of course. Um, in the same kind of hue family, uh, using cotton paper. I want to use 100% cotton paper. It's soft, it's got a great texture to it. It feels something different. Um, and then just using old type uh, that I have in the collection. And by old, I mean old. Um, so that was kind of that. I just wanted to give you a little nugget there. Uh, and uh, here's me taking my cards and scoring them. Well, not scoring them, just folding them, using my bone burnisher to get a nice hard crease. We'll speed this up now.